people it's Cara here and I am so so mad oh, how are you all it's a beautiful sunny day here um, in sunny old um, Hailsham where I now live got to get used to saying that um, oh, it's just pure English weather right now really hot for about two or three weeks um, that would be a couple of weeks ago then last week rain 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 cold um, and then today summer's turned back up again so fingers crossed it stays so today um, I'm going to take you through the first part of a whole pile of makes um, now you're thinking to yourself mm, I think you just did a video last week Cara where you had lots of makes well as you'll know by now if you've been watching ch my channel for a while and thank you if you've been here um, for a long time love it um, I I film when I can and I'm sewing all the time so actually um, I do occasionally have an accumulation of things um, and so sometimes I can do that across a month sometimes it's a little bit longer so this is probably a little bit longer but I have been sewing lots um, it is how I fill my time I don't really watch telly too much um, my husband likes to watch cycling on the telly um, and I do actually I find that quite relaxing to watch but I just love to sew so I do and I love to share it with you guys as well so sorry about that mid flow I got interrupted but there you go that's how it is um, so I'm going to take you through two lots of makes um, one half today and then I'm going to film the other one straight away but release that in a, in a little while or something um, yeah because that's just how it is um, actually, do you know what it is? I've got a whippet on my shoulder. Can you see? There's Lara there. I want to show you. Um, I realise I haven't shown you this before. Oh, just as I'm showing you this one, this one turns up oh, and goes away again. <laughs> so this, this beautiful embroidery um, is uh, of my dog Lara. And this was done by the amazing Michelle at Sewing Bunny. Um, please, it, it, I'm absolutely certain you, you're all familiar with her channel. But how beautiful is that? The work that has gone into it. And it is, uh, you've seen my dogs before, it is just like Lara. And I'm, yeah, this was um, just such a lovely thing to do. Um, I'm part of the Felicity Fabrics team. And a few months ago now, we did a sort of a spring exchange, a little bit like Secret Santa, but we did a one for spring. Um, and Michelle very kindly made this for me, um, which I absolutely adore. And it sits here in my sewing room. Um, actually, the honest truth is I haven't got round to doing my wall yet. I've got a lovely selection of sort of just things I really like um, that are going to end up on the wall eventually, um, if I can stop sewing long enough to get to my wall. Um, but thank you, Michelle, for that. I absolutely adore it. Um, so let's crack on. Um, yeah, I, I love having you here, by the way. So if um, if watching me ramble on about my makes and seeing my dogs occasionally is your thing, um, please do subscribe and welcome and hello to all the lovely subscribers I've had um, join me over the last month. I just love being here and I'd like to have more of you here if that's okay. So please do subscribe. Okay, enough talking, Cara. Get on with showing the makes. So, um, oh, I'll, I'll start with what I'm wearing because this is the freshest, hottest off the sewing machine, if you like. And this is a complete rep replica of um, uh, Shona from Sewisfaction, who um, I first saw this off and then Rachel from Stitched Up has also made this. Now this is an art gallery fabric, um, Scopolis I think it's called, um, that you will have seen I'm certain and I've seen it for years, always loved it um, and I just went for it this month. Um, I loved the style of what um, Shona and uh, Rachel had decided to do and so I've done exactly the same. So it is, um, and McCall's, I'm looking up there because it's up there. Hang on a second. Leave the screen. Uh, it's actually the McCall's um, 7531. Um, and I made this view here, which is a scoop neck. And it's it's actually quite long. I will put a, uh, a photo of me. I've literally just taken the photo. Um, do you know, I haven't bought a paper pattern in years actually and I've forgotten just how lovely it is to have it in a little envelope I have got a few up there um, but I'm more of an indie um, I just seem to have gone for indie designers more than I have the big four but this was really straightforward to make um, as I say I will put some pictures in but you can see it 
it's just a it's quite tight fitting actually for me um it's not my usual style but oh my word art gallery jersey um with me stroking my my fabric art gallery jersey if you've never worked with it before do it's just lovely um and yeah i i think this sort of simple style makes the most of um this wonderful fabric which is great um and i actually um i also copied um andrea from beyond the pink behind the pink door um she recommended a stretch interface for doing um jersey neck bands um uh, it is just standard um what's it called violin i think it's called um interfacing but basically you interface the neck band but because the interfacing itself also has stretch it means that when you iron on the interfacing you don't get that rolling up um, that you quite often get here comes a whip it hello darling how you doing you're right can you come say hello no just gonna come in turn around go out again okay she looks like Piggy when she does that. Her little ears go like this. It's hilarious. Anyway, um, and I've locked, I've clo closed my daughter's bedroom door because she's still sleeping. She is a teenager. Um, anyway, so the yeah, so this is a stroke of genius, game changer. I think you basically iron on the interfacing when it's in its long strip, and that means it doesn't roll up, which is an absolute um, stroke of genius. Hang on, I'm just gonna go and get let the whip it in my daughter's bedroom. Oh dear, whip it, say, um, or dogs in general, I guess. Um, so yes, yeah, so you iron on the interfacing and it doesn't curl. Um, so then when you stitch it on, it's actually flat, which is lovely. Um, I did have a few issues with putting this on, but nothing to do with um, the pattern or the interfacing or anything like that, just to do with my brain, really not paying attention. Um, but yeah, really pleased. It doesn't come with a neck band. Um, and I was listening to Rachel, I prefer, you normally, you would just fold it under uh, as per the pattern instructions, but I do prefer a neck band. Um, and so I just measured the neck band and then did 85% of it, although it turns out I needed less than that. Um, so it took me, that's why it was, it just took me a, a little while to do because I ended up taking it off, taking more off and putting it back on. So it sat nice and flat, which it does. So super pleased with this. It's perfect for days um, like this one. Um, and actually it's, it's a lovely thing. You'd think it may be a bit warm, but actually it's cool when it needs to be cool and slightly more warm when it needs to be, which is just lovely. So, um, and then, um, oh, hang on. I've put the dress I wanted to show you in the wrong pile. Hang on a second. Well, this is going well, isn't it? Not, yeah, nothing like a few interruptions to make a, a video go smoothly. Um, I thought, well, I'll put the t-shirt dresses together because it's actually um, the second t-shirt dress I've made in recent weeks because um, I knew just how comfortable it was. Now, this is actually um, a fabric uh, that, as a, um, I am a Minerva brand ambassador, and a few months ago now, um, I was lucky enough to be able to choose this fabric, uh, which is also an art gallery um, jersey, which I knew, um, I, I've worked with art gallery jersey before, but oh, it's just so soft. And so I wanted to make um, a dress, um, and this is actually the Molly dress um, by Sew Over It. I will put some pictures here somewhere. Um, now the Molly dress is not contoured, it's a much more um, sort of straight fit. Um, and, so, and actually it's much much shorter so I ended up lengthening the pattern and then when I had it on I put it on inside out and got my daughter to pin excuse me pin pin the sides of the dress um, for me and then tapered it in quite a lot so um, oh just both of these though are like secret pajamas um, and yeah yeah so this one is um, this one's for days where um, my tummy is more visible, uh, as this one is very much more contoured. And if I'm honest, when I'm looking down now, I'm thinking, maybe I need to wear some restricting underwear to help it sit a bit flatter. But hey, I have a belly, I have a life, you know, it's, it's, it's me. What can I do? It's, it's me in a dress. <laughs> So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm really happy with these two makes. Um, that's attractive when I do that. Yeah, re really happy with these two makes. 
um, super comfortable, um, going to get a lot of wear out of both of those. Um, and I love the fact that I can wear both of these with trainers because my feet have recently decided that they actually don't like shoes and they really would rather be in soft, um, in soft footwear. But I have made a number of things out of jersey. Um, and I'll pop that there, I think. Um, and you'll remember in my sort of recent, um, well, what am I going to be up to next, I guess, I was talking about making the Galaxy T-shirt. It's been on my list a really long time. Um, I've completely forgotten the name of the company um, that, that uh, this comes from, so I will put that in in, in the description just here. Um, something like paper, scissors, cloth, I think. Um, but it's a free pattern, which is amazing. And for a free pattern, I will put the stock photo here. It has so much beautiful detail on it. I had, so Michelle from Sewing, um, Sewing Bunny, um, uh, of, of the um, picture up here, she, uh, I saw hers first um, and, um, and she did say she needed to do a few fit adjustments, as has um, Rebecca, um, oh my goodness, completely forgotten her name and I'll put her, uh, her YouTube handle here, oh, I think it's notes from the sewing room. Um, I hope I got that right. But she also made another one uh, and and she changed the, the neckline. So the original neckline is quite high, whereas I wanted to have a bit more of a scoop neckline because it's more flattering um, for someone with chesticles like mine. So I made this, I made a toile really. Um, now I'm not in love with this toile, but mostly because this, this cream, it's coming up quite nice on the screen there. But in person, it's quite a dirty cream. Um, and I'm not sure it does that much for me, if I'm honest, but it was enough fabric here to, to make a toile. And you know what, I'm really glad I did. I'm not really a toiler. Um, I tend to make wearable toiles, but for me, a wearable toile is a dress or it's an actual make. So, um, but I have, as you'll see, got some um, beautiful fabrics, which I showed you before, that I wanted to get this right. Um, and I'm really glad I did because it came up as huge, really straight down the sides. Um, this, the cuff on the sleeves was enormous, so it really hung off me. So I needed to make some big adjustments to this. Now I will put a picture of me wearing this one. I love the styling of this. For a basic t-shirt, and let's face it, for a free pattern, that's just amazing. Um, love the details in this. Super pleased with how that came out. So much so that um, I used my blogger fabric from Felicity Fabrics to make um, a Galaxy t-shirt and I absolutely love it. I shared that, th I shared this t-shirt this week um, on Instagram and had some lovely feedback so thank you everybody. If you don't follow me on Instagram please do, uh, my handle is at so so mad um, and I do share quite frequently sort of the comings and goings of my life including sewing so it'd be great to have you there with me. Um, yeah so this is the Galaxy T um, and, and actually even even on this version I had to take in the cuffs a little bit so I did a cheats a cheats fix here. Um, you can see I've put a, I don't know if you can see that actually, um, I've had to take a wedge out um, of, of the cuffs and maybe I've got really narrow arms I'm not sure um, but oh my word this fabric is sensational um, I just love it and it just well the fabric elevates a plain t-shirt to another level and um, the pattern does that too so I'm really lucky um, and as I often say to people um, you know I uh, actually I put this on my Instagram with such a beautiful piece of fabric like this and a beautiful piece of fabric like this I am at risk of them just sitting on the shelf because they're so beautiful I just want to look at them or I'm so terrified to cut into them because of what I might want to get it wrong but if I can overcome part one and part two of that statement then I'm determined to make something that I will wear often um, because I don't want these things to be just for best if you like so I definitely have worn this lots. Um, in fact, it's just come out. And do you know I have ironed this, but I left it on the side. But um, it's jersey; it doesn't really need ironing. I just did that for the purposes of you lot. Um, so I made another T-shirt, and my uh, another favourite pattern of mine is the Somerset T uh, by Maven Patterns. I love the boat neck on this. I love the construction of the neckline. You basically um, fold 
you fold over the um, the top edge and stitch it down so it's sort of like a facing really um, but I really love it it's a gentle scoop sits really well on on my neck um, it's got you've got lots of different options with this comes with a beautiful bishop sleeve that's not like overly full and I have made that um, uh, a long time ago now and I didn't I wanted to make two t-shirts out of the two meters I think I had might have been two and a half meters um, but I'm super pleased with this um, and I don't know if I ever show I don't think I share this with you very often but I'm not a fan of um, turning over and then zigzagging um, jersey cuffs and hems what I prefer to do is to make a faux cuff I think you can see that and how you do that um, is on the overlocker um, I'm not going to be able to describe this very well but basically you fold it in in on itself um, and then you would sew it and then you turn it back so obviously this is the this is the cut edge and then you would overlock that edge there so I'll do that one more time you fold it in into itself as if you're going to hem it, hem it ordinarily you then fold the whole thing back out so um, you've actually got two two layers of fabric you've got an edge and the folded edge there and then you overlock that because then when you turn it back that is on the I hope you can see that that's on the inside and you end up with a sort of faux cuff there I think you can see that um, and that just looks really professional um, and also it means that sometimes you get like a wavy or well, I get a wavy edge on my hems um, show you that actually because I didn't do it on the bottom because I didn't have enough fabric so sometimes jersey has a tendency to curl and if you can see that uh, now I have just overlocked this and done a very very small hem because of the length and the availability of fabric but if I had uh, I think I've done it yeah if I've done some, but on this one I had this is what I made first so I had more fabric I've done that to the bottom edge. I hope that makes sense. Now all of these wonderful wonderful tips on how to hem um, with your overlocker came from um, the So Essential, I think that's what it's called, So Essential um, YouTube channel. She's got the most amazing tips on uh, tips and tricks on your overlocker so I will link that below and that's where that came from she also gives you a tip on how to do neck bands by cutting out a wedge so that when you go around in the full circle you haven't got to somehow eke it back in some really really good tips on that on that video and that is where that idea came from and I love it so that's three t-shirts there probably two of which I will wear more than the wearable toile but I just love this fabric and the good news about this is this fabric is out of stock currently but is coming back into stock on the Felicity Fabrics website and um, I've mentioned it on my Instagram but I don't think I've mentioned it on here um, or apologies if I have Felicity Fabrics and the Car wonderful Caroline and Fliss have very kindly given us, um, as bloggers and vloggers, um, a discount. So to get 10% discount Felicity Fabrics, all you have to do is put Cara 10, and I'll write that across the screen, but Cara 10 in the description, uh, in the um, coupon box, um, and that will give you 10% off your fabrics, which is great. So um, yeah, so you will be able to get this uh, with a 10% discount. Um, there's some lovely fabrics on there, so please do, um, do take a look. Whilst I'm staying with Felicity Fabrics, um, they came up with a wonderful idea of um, kindly giving to us a metre of fabric each. Now they had, um, they had a delivery of double gauzes um, turn up in, I think it was seven different colourways, which are absolutely stunning. I'm going to show you in a second. And they very, very kindly um, sort of set us a bit of a challenge. They gave us a metre of fabric each. Um, and um, they sort of said to us, tell us what your colour palette is, and then we'll send you something. Uh, we'll send you a metre of fabric. I didn't know what colour I was going to get. Um, and there were some beautiful ones was like cream, denim, pink, coral, green. Um, yeah, beautiful, um, lovely selection of colours. Um, 
And then we all had to make something out of a meter without telling anybody else what we would we had made. And they've pulled the whole thing together as a blog, um, which is great fun. Um, so I will leave a link to that blog as well, because it just shows you the versatility you can get from one meter of fabric. Um, and you'll be able to read my blog post um, where I honestly say, ooh, a metre. I don't know that I've bought a metre very often. Now I have got um, at least four metres worth of fabric over there. Um, and having done this challenge, it's really opened my eyes up to the possibilities um, of what a metre of fabric you can do with a metre of fabric. So this is um, the fabric I got sent. It's absolutely stunning. I love it. It's got this um, rose gold relief on it. Um, oh, it's amazing. And I, I'm not a huge fan, if I'm honest, of double gauze, mostly because I find it grows. Um, it doesn't have any drape particularly. Um, and it can be quite tricky to sew with because of those t two factors. Um, excuse me, I've got itchy nose. Um, Having said that, to wear double gauze is a magic thing. It just is so soft. It's really cool in, in the summer months. And so, um, again, I wanted to wear something, or make something that I would wear. Um, now I keep saying that, which is mad, but I do see so many seamstresses make these beautiful fancy dresses and things. Um, and they're all right, they're all right for occasions and things, but I need a wearable wardrobe. I love variety in my wardrobe and I want to be able to reach for many things, not just um, special occasion things. So I made the um, Geo top by Merchant Mills. Now, this is a really lovely pattern. It comes as a top and a dress. Um, and yeah, it's, it's ever so simple. So you've got to, um, let me turn it inside out. You've basically got a facing on the inside this, turn it on, turn it on inside out. So you've got a facing um, across across the top there, um, and I just love the geometric symmetry of the large strap and the and the smaller strap. Um, I've made this um, as a red linen um, dress actually, um, and if I can, I'll find a picture of it. I wore that in Kefalonia. No, where did I go? Yeah, Kefalonia, I think. Um, no. So, Oh, I don't know. I was in Greece. It was lovely. Uh, and I was wearing a red linen dress. <laughs> I've forgotten where I was. Um, but yeah, beautiful top. Um, and I didn't have very much left, actually, out of this one. Um, but yeah, it's just a super simple top. Really pleased with that. But I love the variety of what um, the other girls made. Someone made a bag, someone made a skirt, um, someone made a sort of a, a sort of tunic for their daughter. Um, Oh, it's beautiful things and um, some people even design their own so Jane from Loopy Maple's Closet made a beautiful dress uh, sorry top with a lovely peplum and things just amazing variety so how lucky am I so yeah really pleased and you know this shows how long, long ago this was although long is a loose term because I'm in one of the pictures here um, I'm actually in the bluebell woods and it was so stunning um, if I remember I'll put some footage in of the bluebells now that's a number of weeks ago if not months ago now yeah um, but I love where I live um, just I'm so lucky so I will share with you some of the nature um, and I'll see you in a second Seem to go mad on jumpsuits now. Um, so over it released the Nasima jumpsuit um, a number of weeks ago, if not months ago now, and I loved the design of it. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love a jumpsuit. Um, in fact, I'm probably more into jumpsuits than I am dresses. Um, this fabric here came from um, Stitch. Uh, stitch fabrics in in London and this was in their sale it was an absolute steal I shared some information with you about this on my um, on my recent fabric haul um, I think it's two pounds a meter or something like that it was crazy I love the design of it um, I will put some footage in here to show you now I've just <laughs> I think I wore this at the weekend didn't do the buttons up so hang on a second bear with 
Do, 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves whilst I'm buttoning up my jumpsuit. Yeah, there we go. So it's beautiful design. Um, it's got this lovely top half. Um, I suppose it's a little bit like the Alexia jumpsuit in that respect. So you've got buttons at the, from Tilly Buttons. You've got um, buttons at the top and then you've got a lovely tapered leg at the bottom. Um, now it doesn't come with pockets, but I added inseam pockets because who doesn't need pockets in their life? Um, which is great and also um, as you'll see in a moment um, from one of the other jumpsuits I've made I made um, some waist ties because I'm not that keen on having an exposed um, elastic waist band there um, so that's what I added yes yeah, so in, um, in a jumpsuit I'll show you in a second which I was wearing during the fabric haul I think or so okay I can't remember but anyway it's called a Stevie jumpsuit they have a um, the waist ties which you actually sew in so none of this loose waist tie that you don't know what to do with when you go to the loo and things just to cover up that um, although I've got to say um, the construction of you can't see that you can't see that can you <laughs> maybe you can see it on the back better I'm not sure uh, the construction of the waistband on this particular jumpsuit is actually really nice it's not loose it's actually um, stitched down um, and actually looks really even so it's not as not as exposed as some but I just really like the feature of this and you can see it a bit better in in the pictures but it's actually a really simple make because it's um, grown on sleeves here and you just turn up the um, turn up the sleeve hem to make this nice sort of looking cuff I believe that's how it's done yeah I think so um, and came together really quickly. I love this fabric, it's got a beautiful amount of drape to it. It still is available on their website, so um, Stitch Fabrics just have them, uh, such a wild array of beautiful fabrics. So please, I ask you to check those out. Um, so I was talking about the Stevie jumpsuit there in this. Oh no, actually I think this was four pounds a meter because this is the two pounds a meter. Um, and this is the, um, the Stevie jumpsuit by um, DIBY um, club, do it better yourself club. Um, I just love their designs, really. So it's a bit like Pattern Emporium. You have a DIBY pattern. It's got so many variations. Now I made a V-neck, um, V-neck Stevie jumpsuit, and again I'll put some footage in here somewhere of me wearing this. Um, you've got a thicker waist tie, so on the, the seamer I made it half the thickness. Actually I wish I'd made it full thickness but I thought it would be overwhelming. Um, but actually this, this actually when you tie it makes a more of a statement. Um, now Patrick and Esme would be proud of my pattern matching here. Um, and I, it, This has got huge pockets um, that are um, included in the pattern. Um, the construction of this is just brilliant. Um, I, I just love everything about it. I love the ease of being able to get in and out. I love the fact that it's a V-neck. I love the side, the, the the waist ties. Um, the construction of the waistband again is it um, so that it's it's not loose. There's no channel. You literally you sew the elastic to the top of the trousers, um, and then you no so. It's, top and bottom you attach like you would normally then you put the elastic on and you fold it up on itself so that there isn't exposed elastic inside again that's really difficult to see but trust me it's a really neat finish on the inside which I, which I really like and I don't want loose elastic um, flying around the place but the 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 tie at the front which you'll be able to see better in the pictures because let's face it you can't see it here it just looks like a like a camo net or something but it's a great fabric again really lovely light and loose to wear now the, the stevie jumpsuit has got lots of different options with it it can be collots it can be tapered it can be long i think it can be three quarter lengths um, i think you might even be able to make a scoop neck um, so lots of different options with that and again comes together really really quickly um, which i love um, so that's two jumpsuits and then sort of a jumpsuit but actually um oh no what am i talking about of course i made a jump another jumpsuit that's stevie version one i'm losing my head and this is stevie version two 
I do apologise. Um, and again, this, this fabric, um, which is an art gallery jersey, was provided to me by Minerva as part of their, um, amb uh, their ambassador um, uh, programme. Um, so I'm a brand ambassador for um, Minerva. Um, now I'll leave links to my um, Minerva page. I'd love it if you'd go over there and follow me. Um, I've got a number of different makes from them for, for, for them now. And so I decided to make another Stevie, so another V-neck version. This one actually is um, the culotte length. So it's actually wider. Um, oh no, it's the same, same width of leg but it's shorter and again I'll put some footage in um, again it's got the ties it's got the lovely big pockets um, which I think you can see there actually you can see you can see the waistband there it's a lovely clean finish um, so even though you cover it just on the front so the waist ties just go on the front they don't go all the way around your waist which I think is really really nice uh, a really nice look love this fabric really love wearing this jumpsuit it's super easy to get in and out of I was a little bit concerned about the recovery of a v-neck when you're sort of you know wiggling yourself in and out of a um, of a jumpsuit but both of them no issues whatsoever really really comfortable to wear now this one's a lot more drapey um, and this one's a, a more of a structured jersey um, so you do get a sort of a different look and feel to both of them but just love them and if I'm honest I can see more of these in, in my future um, because as I say I do like a jumpsuit and I also made the sleeves slightly longer these are sort of come to my elbow whereas on this one I made them short sleeved uh, yeah short sleeved um, I can't show you that <laughs> so on to the dungarees um, the staying uh, as a as a um, ambassador so I had three lots of fabric so yes yeah, so I had the previous uh, previous t-shirt uh, this lovely art gallery and this is a Lady McElroy um, fabric which is oh, it's beautiful and um, I think I remember saying in my fabric haul video that I always had a vision of these being the Sophia dungarees um, by Tilly and the Buttons just wanted some lightweight easy to wear um, dungarees and they've got a lovely wide leg on them um, I think I've taken some footage, uh, cer certainly some pictures, so I'll, I'll pop those in here at some stage. Um, so the Sophia, uh, this is from the Make It Simple book from Tilly and the Buttons. The Sophia trousers are so easy to make. If you've not made trousers before, it's a great starting point. In fact, everything out of that book is genius. I don't know how she does it. It's just lovely. Um, I think there's very few patterns I haven't made out of there. The only thing I haven't made is the Bertha cardigan. I made it, but made it in too heavy a weight jersey, and so I didn't get on with it. Um, but the Sophia trousers are really easy because um, the waistband at the top is incorporated in the pattern piece. You end up folding the top of the trousers down to make the waistband, and it's basically a flat front and then elastic at the back. Now the Sophia trousers, Sophia dungarees, is the same footprint as that, except obviously you have a the, the, um, the dungarees part at the top. Um, and ordinarily you'd have uh, a waist tie which sort of cinches the whole thing in. I decided to try something different because I'm not a fan of waist ties, um, which is why I like the incorporated waist ties in the two um, DIBY um, uh, Stevie jumpsuits there. So all I did was on the back of the on the back of the dungarees here, I sewed in some elastic. Now I appreciate it doesn't look particularly glamorous, but it's on my back and on the inside of the dungarees, so I, nobody can see it. And what that do, what that did is um, it cinches the back in, um, so you can see there that that is sort of gathered. Um, and you'll see in the pictures that it just means I don't have to have a waist tie because it's already cinched in, um, which I'm really pleased with. Um, the only thing I would say about the Sophia um, dungarees is I've seen lots of people wear these with, with nothing else underneath and as you know I'm quite busty and I haven't, um, I haven't been able to get the fit right where I feel comfortable um, that I could wear this on its own. Now I think I could because it does just cover the bra at the back um, and it does give me enough coverage at the front but I wear this with the t-shirt underneath is, is um, how I've decided to do it. But this fabric is super soft. 
And again, there's more details of how I constructed this over on my Minerva Makers um, Ambassador site. So um, as I say, I'll leave a link to that down below. That is everything from the Mammoth Pile um, of part one of what I've been up to. I hope you've enjoyed that um, and a massive thanks to um, Felicity Fabrics for providing me with the fabric for that. Massive thanks to the Minerva team for um, allowing me to be an ambassador. I do really enjoy it and thank you for the inspiration um, for the bloggers. Um, I'm constantly inspired by other people um, and uh, influenced um, with making things. So I'm going to be filming the next one um, very shortly and um, I hope you'll join me on the next video so that I can continue to share with you what I've been up to. So that'll be my next video and then after that, believe it or not, I already have a pile of things I've cut out and I'm working my way through. So I'll be sharing that with you very soon too. So I'd love to hear from you. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell for um, to keep up to date with when I release my um, videos. And until next time, please stay safe and well, and I'll see you soon. Bye.